Hey guys, Survivor here. Welcome to another episode of How to Speedrun Code 4. This is the 15th episode and therefore the finale for the series. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this series. I've worked pretty hard on it and I've tried to make the best content for you guys. Now, before I get on with the episode, I want to ask if any single one of you would be interested in helping me set up or test my Discord server for the community when I eventually do release it. I have most things set up already, but I just need someone to test it with. If you're interested, contact me at survivor, hashtag 5365. I will also put this um, Discord ID in the description, so. Anyways, let's get right into it. Game over, and therefore the series over. This mission is pretty simple and straightforward, you don't have to do anything. Um, at least in this car section right here. You're just gonna want to not die. That's what you want to focus on. Um, so let's kill these guys right here. Now, during this car ride, because there's nothing else to do but killing these guys, um, I'd like to talk about uh, the series, basically, and what you guys mean to me, because there's nothing else to do. Um, the series had constant support and got, like, maybe 250 views per episode in the 24-hour mark, and that is about 20% of my subscribers watching it, which is a really good percentage, because usually it is more like 10, so I'm really glad to have such an active fan base. And also the comments that you guys leave are fantastic. I enjoy replying to them, and I'm glad you guys take interest in the game in a deeper level than just watching the tutorial and just leaving. But that's fine if you do that as well. And also you guys leaving a like, that's great as well. About 10% of you guys leave a like when you guys watch the video, so that's great as well. I really appreciate it. And we've been at a steady growth for subscribers. So that's great as well. Now, this series has been really fun to do. I've enjoyed doing it because I've gotten to explain to you guys how I speedrun this game and also you guys can learn from it. And if you guys want, you can speedrun it yourself. But I feel like now watching my speedruns is a lot more interesting than it was before because now you actually know what's going on in my head when I run, and what I try to do, so if I fail, you guys notice if I fail, and you just don't think it's intended. Anyways, I just shoot my RPG there. There's nothing else to do, so I just do it for fun. And yeah, we're just going to want to wait. Because we don't have to do anything else. There's no enemies here. And there are supposedly strategies for this mission to get it to be faster in the end. You just have to kill the enemies that are there. I'm not sure what the limit is or what enemies you have to kill. I don't think anyone has figured that out. But you just want to focus on killing the enemies as quick as possible. Now, here. If you spam F right there, you can, you can pick up the RPG before... Um, well, you can pick up the RPG, and you can get a third gun. That's possible. Now here, we're just going to want to rush here. And kill all these guys. Oh, there's a nade there. There's an M60 here. You want to pick that up. And then, since it has a lot of ammo, now nade there, where the... Na um, where the car stop, so you can get kills from that. Then you just want to kill people. And eventually, maybe, I get the tanker to blow up so you can finish the mission up. Now let's reload. I'm gonna go further back so they don't throw grenades. And then once we've got them 60 reloaded, we can start shooting again. Let's kill these guys here. Uh, 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 uh. 
tanker's about to blow, move. Now this is when the tanker's gonna blow up and you're gonna go into this cutscene that's gonna take a while. There we go. Now it's once again waiting and waiting and waiting. Nothing else. The last bit is really hard to mess up. I doubt anyone has messed it up. Where you have to kill Zakaev and the two gunmen that he has with him. You have to kill them. I doubt anyone has ever messed that up. So, you should be fine with that part. Shouldn't take too much practice. It's just pointing and shooting. One thing that might make it harder is the lower sensitivity that you have. You might instinctively shoot before you aim at the guy. And also there's some distortion in your vision, so even if you aim directly at the guy, you might not hit him. But you have, I think it's 7 or 8 bullets, I think it's 8 bullets that you have to kill them, so you should be fine. Now they're going to execute gas. I still don't understand how people can argue that Gas didn't die here, he clearly gets shot in the back of the head. Some people say that he got shot down like his um, back or something, but no, it's the back of his head that gets shot. <laughs> He's not Ghost, trust me. Anyways, right here, Captain Price lights you the M1911, and you're going to want to kill Zakayev and the two gunmen that he has with him. So let's kill them right here. Boom, boom. And then let's kill the last guy. There we go. And that is the game done. So, that is also the series over. I hope you guys have enjoyed your stay. And I hope this series helped some of you who want to get into speedrunning code 4. Or are just interested in the series overall. I really do hope it helped you. I thank you all for watching. And... I hope to see you guys in my next video. Survivor out.